What's up, boys and girls? This is your boy, Curtis Miso, coming in hot with another video. It's a nice sunny day out here in Seattle. It's uh, looking like some pack-ripping weather for us here. And uh, today we've got some Bowman Blasters. Got these on eBay for $38. Seemed like a good price at the time. And then later was able to find them on Topps' website for a retail price, $29.99. Actually, shipping was pretty expensive on that, though. So maybe they worked out to about the same price. But grab three of these on eBay. Want to see what retail is all about. Um, seen on Twitter a lot of nice pulls coming out of retail. Um, people talking it up. Obviously, uh, only people who the only people who post are the ones showing their good stuff. So maybe retail isn't as good as as we think. But let's find out. Um, we opened a full case, a full case of of Bowman Jumbo, uh, and these are some of the hits. Unfortunately, I had to buy that myself. Did not pull that, uh, but those are going to PSA. I pulled a couple Trey Sweeney refractors. Those are going for about. 250 300 bucks uh pulled a night that was my biggest pull blue yosuar garcia don't know really who that is did some research he's pretty young has quite a bit of upside so i am kind of excited about that and it's a color match with the phillies colors um what else did i pull warming barnabell he's a guy that people are kind of excited about pulled a nice refractor of him anthony rodriguez uh shortstop not you know not super uh high-end prospect but you never know uh Carlos Aguilar has some potential. Always like pulling the refractors to 499, one of the more pop popular cards. Unfortunately didn't pull this either, had to buy a Watson to 499. So um but that's how it goes. So really wanted a Watson auto. That was the that's the main draw of the products. Khalil Watson, super high end, five tool prospect, number sixteen uh pick in the draft first round of draft this year. Uh, he's been striking out a lot, but he's also been got a really high OPS, uh, high slugging percentage. Hit four home runs already, I think, in, in the pre in the spring league. So that's the guy you're looking for. He's number two, Ellie De, De La Cruz. Uh, just a massive, I think six five six six guy, kind of uh, looking like O'Neill O'Neill Cruz. Just a just a freak athlete. Uh, also bought these tops now for Julio Rodriguez's first MLB hit. Uh, bought five of them, hoping I hit a number card. Uh, did not, but what I did hit was uh, a lot of massive, massive surface issues. Uh, thanks for, I'm glad that I paid $35 for these cards that are just jacked to hell in a handbasket. So don't know what I'm going to do with those. Uh, probably a giveaway or something. Um, if anyone wants those, maybe we'll do that. In the meantime, let's rip some Bowman, baby. Uh, let's see what we can do. Let's see what retail is all about. Uh, let's see what all the fuss is about. Uh, these packs aren't as cushy as the, um, uh, hobby box packs, so a little bit harder to rip without dinging anything, but be interested to see what these look like. Haven't watched anything ripped. I think it's really hard to hit, uh, numbered autos. There is, it seems like more base autos than you'd expect. Uh, more numbered chrome stuff than you'd expect, but so what? Uh, oh, okay. Uh, we got something interesting in the back. It could be gold or it could just be an insert. Um, so it looks like we're getting one chrome in the middle and then something interesting on the back. Oh, so two chromes per pack. Wow. Right off the bat, a Matt Frazier first yellow to 75. So with a just a dirty, dirty uh, surface issues happening there uh, that comes right off actually. Um, so there you go. Although I don't know about that, but there's a T, a color match yellow to 75. That's, geez, right out of the first pack. So people might not have been lying to me about, uh, retail. That is a big hit. Better than a lot of stuff I pulled out a hobby. Uh, I don't think I pulled, I did not pull a lower numbered parallel out of hobby. Uh, and I ripped one blaster first pack. And I get this, Minor League Player of the Year, high A MVP. Who is this kid? Look at these numbers. 300 average, 500 slug, 900 OPS. Why isn't this guy someone people are looking for? Maybe he's old. Um, wow, what's his position? Outfield? So this might be this might be one of my better pulls, and it's out of a $38 blaster. Um, just ridiculous. Just ridiculous. But that's awesome. That's how it goes. Um Maybe uh, there's something to be said about retail this year. They loaded these babies up. So it looks like maybe you get the numbered cards or very rarely you can get an auto on the back. 
Uh, you get a crappy little insert in the middle um, that is worth nothing. There's an Acuna uh, Rutledge. I have just a fat stack of worthless Chrome cards now after ripping a case. Uh, Bobby Witt uh, first. So I'll put the first here, the worthless Chrome here, um, and keep it going. So, you know, you hit one numbered card in a blaster, I would expect to hit nothing else uh, in this thing. But uh, let's just see how loaded these things can be. Unfortunately, when I open these backwards, I'm seeing the name of the back Chrome card right off the bat. But um, there's an O'Neill Cruz, Benny Montgomery insert, Ian Lewis. God, my lighting setup is just pristine. This new LED light that I got um, is offering just some ridiculous rays onto... And a couple of Bowman first, don't know who those guys are, um, onto my videos. It just, it's just a beautiful sight. Highly recommend this light that I purchased on Amazon. Oswaldo Cabrera. Interesting prospect for the, oh, there's a Khalil Watson paper though. Put that with the hits. A Junior Sanchez and a Zach Veen. Base chrome. So you do get a, a pretty good amount of chrome, actually, um, out of these bad boys. Jonathan Clay's for the Mariners on the back on a chrome. Not a guy who has a ton of upside, I think. Uh, not a power guy. But nice to hit a Mariner. George Valera, one of the top five guys in the product. Paper, though. Yosar Garcia to match my blue auto back there. Uh, that guy, and Jonathan Clays for the Mariners. Uh, I'm just going to sleeve that. I'm not, I've just been sleeving those. Not really sure why. Maybe I'll sell them to uh, local Mariners people out here. Um, one more pack. Man, so just hitting a yellow to 75 chrome right off the bat. That is fantastic. That's a great way to start this video. Um, so on the struggle bus a little bit with this pack. And we'll just go through the paper, some rookies. Last thing I need is more of these paper cards. Jonathan Clay's, Benjamin, and Blaze Jordan. So there you go, that is blaster number one. At any time you can hit a numbered chrome card out of a blaster, you're doing really well. That card, I don't know, I haven't looked at that guy's values, but a number to a team color match to 75, I would imagine that will more than pay for that blaster, which is um, the most you can ask for out of these things. Um, other than auto, which I would obviously take. And I've seen, it just feels like a lot of heat has been pulled out of blasters. I got five more coming from Tops uh, that I got for $29.99 a piece as well. So many more to go, which is exciting. I just don't think that will hit. I, I mean, I don't have expectations for hitting <clears throat> something that good uh, every time for sure. So Chrome, top of Chrome first, guys I've never heard of. I've got an Eduardo Lopez blue shimmer to 150 right here out of the jumbo boxes. And now we'll go on to this pack. Pack number two. Unfortunately, spoiling the chrome on the back. We've got a green parallel, but it's paper in this one. So maybe you do get a numbered card per pack. Um, usually, you oh, and it's a wander. Wow. So, okay, um, I will sleeve that. Good Lord. Um, so I, I mean, my ROI on uh, blasters is way better than the jumbos at this point. That is a very, very nice pull. Not sure what these are going for. Really like the picture on these. It is just paper, um, but geez, that's gonna pay for that blaster. So right now we're hitting, 
I'm batting a thousand um, on the blasters. And I can see what all the fuss was about. So two really good numbered hits. Um, I, I doubt we're guaranteed a, a, a parallel um, per box, but uh, we will find out. There's your odds. I'm not going to read that right now, but we will uh, find out. See if we can continue to stay hot in number three. I do not expect us to hit any other any other hits uh, in this blaster because that would just be a ridiculous value and the MSRP is $29.99 on these things. There's a nice Lawler. He's been mashing um, in the minors. Uh, High-end prospect just getting higher. Brand Bellow is an interesting prospect. Oh, Ian Lewis. I thought we had a Khalil Watts in there for a second. And an Aguilar. Um, okay. Let's keep moving here. Just getting some text messages on my watch. Some plans getting canceled. Last minute. Love that. Uh, da, 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 da. Go through these. Go through these inserts. I just can't stand inserts. Uh, Ellie De La Cruz. Junior San Quentin. That was a funny name. It's uh, like the prison in in L.A. or something. Super high security. <laughs> uh, and that's his last name. So I thought that was kind of funny. Um, Bo Bichette. Love the flow on Bo. That, that hair. And then my piles are getting out of control. As usual, Duran Duran. <laughs> Jaron Duran. Uh, I don't think he's a rookie of the year favorite in anyone's uh, mind. Um, Peyton Wilson first, and a Lewis, Lewis, Luis Gonzalez first. Always love to hit first. Uh, and we've got a blue card on the back, maybe a little uh, Khalil Watson action. Gonna try not to see it. Probably destroy the cards in the process, so I'm just gonna not do that. Um, it's Cooper Kenny for the raise. So, yeah, it looks like nothing interesting here, unless you have a base auto, which there's no way in a... When we already had a numbered card, let alone a wander, uh, that we'll see anything else out of here. Oh, jeez, we did. We had a number, another numbered card. Are you joking? Uh, again, so we're having seen some big service issues on retail, but seriously, a refractor to four ninety nine. dollars So two in, um, this is absolutely insane, two in... And we are uh, already hitting just absolute fire. Um, this is ridiculous. So two numbers card numbered cards in that blaster. Is this a, is this real? Um, are we really going to see a numbered card or better per blaster? I don't. I don't think so. Um, that, that just seems that's hard to fathom that they would load these things up to that extent. And to the extent that they're printing these, this set, how can you have that many numbered cards? I mean, I know they added a couple of different parallels, but uh, that just seems crazy to me. Um, so let's see if we can go three for three here. If we can, that might be a sign that, look, there's a lot of numbered cards in, this, in these blasters. Um, and you should buy the heck out of them if that's the case. Um, because... You know, you can, I mean, at 30 bucks a pop, you can easily pay for your blaster. You hit the right player, you'll, you know, do a lot, even better than that. Trey Sweeney, uh, probably, yeah, definitely a top 10 guy in the product. Um, I think he's, he's a good hitter, but not much to say about his fielding. Um, doesn't have the high end upside as an Ellie or um, Khalil Watson, but uh, looks to be a pretty solid guy. Um, Trout, Kyle Lewis, he's coming back soon, um, which is interesting for the Marriott. My, my, my watch, I'm just blowing up on text messages right now. Um, and a bias, so, yeah, I'm going to have to, a lot to respond to when I'm done filming this bad boy. I also want to get out and shoot some hoops today. Uh, so here we go, again, just blowing through the paper. Um... Let's see, okay, so let's slow down a little bit here. Two first, Robert Dominguez and a Pedro Pineda.
So there you go. This is shaping up. This could be the dud. Um, but frankly, you know, if I rip three blasters and I get three numbered cards, uh, let alone a wander, um, you know, I'm, you won't see me complaining about that. I've definitely made more than paid for this rip, uh, with those three cards. So I'll be interested to see what those wanders are going for. Harry Ford for the PC. Nice Mariner prospect, first round pick, Yosuar Garcia and Robert Campos. I think a top, couple of top 20 guys in the product. Garcia has pretty high upside, I think. I'd love to see an auto. Um, that would be pretty cool. I imagine those those are, are certainly pretty rare out of this stuff, but um, that would be on my wish list for sure. In particular, Khalil Watson, because I didn't pull any of those out of a whole case, which I'm bitter about. So yeah, um, we'll see if we get something numbered out of here. Let's see if we can keep this streak alive. I'm skeptical, I'm definitely skeptical. Um, I don't see any color, but so let's just see how hot these things are. And we're getting into the chrome, the last few chromes. And yep, so this one did not have any numbered stuff. So. I imagine most blasters will look like that, not like the first two, um, but these things are spicy. They've got some juice to them. Um, here's our hits. We hit three numbered cards out of three blasters. Tristan Casas, fortunately a non-rookie, non-first refractor. That's not gonna be worth anything really, five bucks at most. A Wander Franco though, a 399 grain, um, that's gonna be worth something absolutely gonna be worth something and i really like the picture on that one and then a matt fraser yellow to 75 wish this wasn't happening up here um but that's also a nice hit so and then just a sweeney base and whatever jonathan clays so definitely happy with that paid for the rip with these three car or these two cards probably i mean based on what i read about him i think uh, that's gonna be worth something especially with the color match uh, and a short numbered so um thanks for watching as always i'm gonna have five more of these to rip later this is curtis miso signing off